Hello, and did you know Hyper-V has a really cool feature where you can partition your GPU and use it on different VMs so you don't have to have 20 different di GPUs for 20 different uh, VMs. And this is great for... Uh, this is great for if you want to use uh, GPU accelerations or maybe even UI accelerations into your VMs and you want to have a dedicated system. So I want to show you the easy way out of this and this mostly works for the Windows VMs. Uh, and as for the Linux VMs, I will make a separate video on it. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. Subscribe to the channel if you do want to see that as well. So just search for GPU PV and this PV stands for uh, para virtualization and you can actually this is for windows and it's much easier like it's really like scary how easy this is to use let me show you uh just go to here code and if you're on windows you can literally just download a zip file so it's as easy as that so just download it as you can see it is downloaded uh we just i'll just copy it over to uh, just cut it and copy it over to our desktop just so we have a clear view of it so there you go now we have it here and make sure to just extract it i'll just extract it here so where did it go there you go uh, it is extracted and you can see there is a bunch of files in here there's a lot in here so we'll go over them and you don't need all of them it's pretty again straightforward on how it does things so I'll show you all the way. So and then the next step is getting your ISO. So make sure to get a Windows ISO, and you can pretty easily get one with Windows 11. Uh, if you just search for Windows 11 ISO, Windows ISO, basically just search for Windows ISO, and you should get uh, a link that is either Windows 11 or Windows 10. So I'll just go with Windows 11, as this is the thing that mostly requires you have to have it. Like it needs the dedicated GPU to work properly or run smoothly. So this is great if you do want to use Windows 11 VMs and i'll just go to scroll down the bottom and then just go to windows 11 multi edition so just the bottom part select this uh, hit download and again there's a lot more in here that's basically everything you want to read i don't want to read anything i'll just download it and basically just wait for it to download and oh, after you click that uh, there is an option that will allow you to select a language so let's go with english united states hit confirm and it should start downloading. Now, I already do have this downloaded. Oh yeah, there's one more step. Why does it have to be so difficult? Anyway, just do 64 bit download. Uh, yeah, I do have this downloaded. So I'll show you with that one. So I'll just cancel this. Make sure to have this downloaded. And after that is done, now we have a few things. So what we have to do is open our PowerShell. So there you go, we can open our PowerShell. So I have PowerShell 7 installed, but if you don't have this, uh, make sure to it's our other one so i'm using flow launcher if you haven't watched this video make sure to check it out um with this we can actually pretty easily run it as administrator so there we go it is an administrator but in case you don't have this if you search for powershell here uh there should be a version uh, i don't think i do oh there you go uh, there is a uh, isac so you can also just run this as administrator and it should open up another powershell window so yeah there you go there is another one and yeah so I'll just close this. Uh, I'll use this PowerShell window. And what do you want to do in here? Uh, the first thing you need is this pre-check file. So we have to run this. And since it is as administrator, what we can do is just move it over here. And uh, does it copy? Oh my God, it does not. So in case it drag and drop doesn't work, I'll just copy this. So shift control V, paste it in here, type slash, hit tab, and you should be able to select the file you want. So I, I want this. So make sure to just basically run this pre-check file and after you do run it, uh, you can see this will just detect what GPUs you have. So we have, I have my RX 580 and my integrated GPU now. For the moment, my integrated GPU is not really doing much. So that is the one I want to virtualize or basically share with a VM. Uh, but again, if you do want to share your de dedicated GPU, it does allow you to do it. And uh, in case if you are wondering if your the main window like this window like stops or not, no, it does not. Th with this method, like with this para virtualization, it just shares a portion of the, it partitions the GPU and shares a portion of it. It does not just pass through the whole thing. So that's the pretty good part of it. Now, then we have this. Sorry, uh, then we have this file right here, and we have to edit this. So you can literally edit it in Notepad if you don't have anything else. So what do you need to do in here? You can see there's a lot in here. Don't be scared or don't worry too much about it. This first part is all we have to edit. So you can see VM name, which is GPU PV. Uh, for now, I'll do, I will keep it at this. And then we have the ISO path. So where your ISO is downloaded. So let's say mine is in my VM. There you go, OS and then uh, where is it there you go now we can just copy this the path of it so 
there you go now we can copy where is it there you go you can see there's an option called copy as path you should have an option like this so just copy it over and then let's remove this and paste it over now we have the iso then we have the edition so leave it at six if you want the pro version since this is a multi like iso you want like we want the pro version then we have the vmd format so this is the hard disk format disk layout so it's the uefi system obviously we want to use general generation 2 for this so this will be a uefi system then we have size but this is basically how big you want your uh virtual disk to be so i'll just keep it at 40 for now then we have memory amount how much gigabytes so you want to give it like how much memory you want to give the virtual machine so make sure to change that we have cpu cores you can do for like make sure to keep it like half of your cpu cores don't give it everything uh, if you have like 12 cores give it six if you have six cores give it three and this does i mean like i have six core 12 threads i can give like six cores to it and it will work so yeah then as on network switch yeah i don't want to give it a default uh, vhd parameters now vhd path this is the path you need so where do you want to put the uh, vm in so for me i do keep everything in here uh, as you can see i did test it out and yeah so i'll, I'll put it in here as you can see i do have already one installed in here and it's pretty great to be honest so there we go if i just put it in here yeah now this should work in here and then the another part yeah this is great uh this does basically install your windows without you having to uh, manually do everything so it just auto installs it which i like to keep so uh, you can also like remove this line if you don't want it i don't think that's a great idea because yeah it may break but anyway uh, GPU name, uh, as you can see, it says auto in here, which it will just pick one GPU. And again, this is partition there, so you don't have to worry about it too much. But uh, if you are using, Win like installing Windows 10, keep this at auto. But if you are not using Windows 10, then uh, remember the, wait, let me show you. So, I don't know this. so if I just show you the output of this again. Uh, so you can see this GPU. So I, if I want to just use this GPU, I can just copy this, Control C, and then we can just paste it in here. Again, make sure if you are doing this on Windows 11, then only then you can do this. If you are not using Windows 11, if you are using Windows 10, or I would say any other distribution, you, you should just leave it at auto. Now, uh, you can see this is the how much GPU do you want to allocate. So this is basically 50%. So I would say when it's running, um, you will, it will use 50% of the GPU as partition. So you can, again, lower or higher, make it higher. But again, I like to keep it at default. Then as for team ID and key, I'll just keep it at default. Then you have username. I'll just change it to the username I use for everything. And then there you go. You can do this. And we have auto log on. So it will just log in automatically. So it doesn't need password or anything. Uh, again, I'll just keep this at turn off. Now, after you have edited all of these parameters, we just save the file and we can actually now run that file so <coughs> to remember how we did this now we can just again find the file that is in here there you go copy to files to vm and then if we just hit enter it should run everything automatically so let's just wait for it to be done and while you wait do check out the shop and please support me on this channel so if you do want to support this if you want something you can get a dex pad or even a t-shirt but if you don't want anything maybe just donate to the channel and support what i do so once you're at this stage, this may take a while to complete, so be patient. So as you can see, it is now starting the VM. So this will just configure everything that we need to, and it just basically sets everything up for us. So it's booting up now. So let us let me full screen it. So let's see how this goes. And there you go. It has been set up. So as you can see, uh, we do have a user right now, and it does it just doing some initial setups for us so again just wait for it and there you go our system is booted up what the heck did i click no we don't want pain and as you can see it does feel a bit sluggish but um, if i do go into my device manager because we do need drivers now if i do go in here as you can see it does say intel usd graphics 370 and it is using the uh, default drivers and i think yeah it slowly does settle down uh, mostly because it is sluggish a bit because oh i think uh, i forgot to add the guest additions so let me see if that helps or not let me just shut this down
So there you go. It is done. And if I just close everything up, if I go to my Hyper-V manager, there we go. And in here, this is the one we just made. So I go to settings and I think there is an option called, whoa, the whole system is lagging a bit. Okay, so there you go, guest services. Uh, I think this allows us to copy and stuff. So I'll connect it again. Let's see if this helps. But again, we are already using integrated GPU, which is probably not great for uh, like we split the GPU in half and then we used it in here. So I would say if you are not using your iGPU, then you can just give it the 100% that is available. And also this is something that I did in counter, which is it just be being this small. I don't know why it happened, but it does for some reason like become really small so uh, and also the way i found it to like to f like be able to fix it is just we just go to the device manager and then uh go to here uh, wait just enable this so enable device and it should just automatically go to full screen and as you can see it is way smoother now but if i just disable this now it should still work yeah as you can see it's still full screen and now it's a bit sluggish again uh, I think we can use both of them and it does again just work like a accelerator so it doesn't actually uh, interfere with anything it just acts like an accelerator for apps that do need it so I think I'll just keep both of them enabled and I think you see it is getting used so it's a dedicated GPU memory 120 megabytes so again it is using the half of what this GPU offers and again, if you do use a, the discrete GPU and if your uh, GPU does allow you to do it, so if you do have a dedicated GPU, let's say you have a 16 gig card, then you can split it with 8 or even 4 gigabytes, 4 VM, it still works. So make sure to uh, look, take a look at that. But that's about it for this video. This is just a general idea to give you an idea of how this, all of this works. So if you did find this video helpful or maybe enjoyed watching it, um, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.